Undisputed, we're here at the Undisputed Gym in San Carlos with Mike Basil. Uh, tell us a little bit about, about um, how you think the fight will go, uh, thoughts on the training camp. I know it's been taking place a lot in Las Vegas, but um, and he just got back here. What are your thoughts for the fight coming up? Well, for me personally, I'm ha very happy that it's Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. That's a fight that's a great transition for Nonito going into 122. You know, um, even, I mean, just like style-wise, but also personality-wise, I think Vasquez is a good person. Personality in boxing. Nonito Donaire is a great personality in boxing. They, I think they'll look good together and the press comes in. Good build up to the fight. You know, Chavez Jr. is on the card too. It's a double header. I just think it's a very, very uh, good matchup, a good step for him to go to 122. Is it, um, I know it's just a good step. Do you think it, there's a little trouble because the lowest that Vasquez's spot was about 121 and the biggest Nonito spot is 121 as well? Well, he said definitely anytime you move up in weight, I mean, this guy Vasquez, he's been fighting big guys, fighting guys that are big. This is the thing, you know, it's not like what I, what, he's a true 122 pounder. It, what the, sometimes with fighters, especially world champs moving up, sometimes they move up with another champion that's moved up. You know, the guy's moving up in weight too, like Arce. Arce's a team weight guy. He moved up to 122. He caught Vasquez on a good night. You know, he beat him, you know, and you know, Vasquez makes mistakes. You know, a super ch ch charged up Arce got him. Would, they, would that happen in the rematch? Only, you know, let him have a rematch and find out, right? I'm sure Vasquez has, has tried to improve his performance and made corrections on the mistakes he made in that fight, you know, because they were glaring mistakes and, you know, mistakes that a guy like a Nonito Donaire is not overlooking, right? So, you know, for me, I think uh, I'm happy that he's taking the step with a true 122 pounder, not a guy from 118 that's moving up with Donaire and they're fighting at 122. So to be specific, you're mentioning those glaring mistakes. Um, what do you think is one mistake that Nonito will definitely capitalize on? The dropping of the right hand by Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. Uh, when he throws his combinations, which are fast, energetic, he does have that tendency to drop his right hand, which plays into a counter left hook, which, every, as we all know, you know, that's Nonito Donaire's uh, best shot there. Although today, in watching the training today, the right hand, which he's been working on the last two fights, strengthening his right hand, he wants to be feared with two hands, not just one. And I really saw a huge improvement on his right hand today. You know, the way he delivered it, the snap on the end of it. So, and he's been, you know, as you know, fighting southpaw in some of the fights, switching. So he has been working on his right hand as well, developing this, the, uh, you know, developing the uh, coordination, you know, as well with the power, which all plays into the speed and accuracy, which when you don't see the punch, that's what hurts you. Is there a possibility he will throw the, the southpaw switch in for? It depends on what Vasquez gives him. And, you know, and, and you heard him say in the interview, him and Robert, they're going to study the tapes a little more as the next couple of weeks wind down towards the fight they're really going to start kind of developing their game plan you know because yeah I mean he's a guy that kind of likes to solve you in the ring Donaire likes to solve you but he does realize that this is a step up in weight I want to be he wants to be better he, want, he doesn't want to just walk in knowing I, I know what the guy's going to show me I'm going to solve it whatever he gives me he's going to have a, a good plan and Robert Garcia is a great guy to have that plan I myself being in the corner just like just like Nonito said, the experience Robert brings. I'm with Robert five fights now. That guy, man, I mean, he makes even the most nervous guy calm because he's so, you know, he just says the right things. His experience is invaluable to everyone, all of us, not just Nonito, but all of us as well. It makes us better. You know, and I want to do my best when I'm around those guys. So it's exciting for me. All right, last quick thought. None of these, neither of these guys are used to hearing the final bell other than the Arvaez fight. How do you think the fight will end up? I think it's going to be uh, very electric, you know, I really do, you know, and, uh, you know, with that electricity, you know, comes knockouts, you know, I think it's going to be an exciting night, you know, I think it's in Texas, I think in San Antonio, that's a great fight crowd there, Chavez Jr. fans are going to be there, that, that freaking crowd's going to be electric, and, uh, you know, those guys, uh, you know, um, Freddie Roach and all those guys have done a hell of a job with him, and, you know, it's a big step.
step for him. He's ready to take on a tough guy. This is a great step for Nonito, and I think it's going to be a very electric night. But with that electricity comes knockouts. So that's what I'm looking for. Here, live from Nonito's training camp with Mike Basil. This is Darren Velasco reporting. Thank you very much.